Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here with a, another review for you. Not something I was initially planning on reviewing, but I was so delightfully cheered by it that I had to get around to it. This is the Rush 24 bag by 511. So I've got a light up here, this is just a name tape tab, and Velcro up here, nice addition. Small little uh, Velcro square here, which I have a patch from two patches. Bottom one from uh, Sacom Works and the top one from Weapons Grade Waifus. So, moving on, as you can see, the little auxiliary compartment here has quite a bit of room. We've got a little, uh, basically a little mini first aid kit here. There's a ton of pockets. There's a flat, basically a flashlight tab here, three pen slots over here, two compartments, a massive compartment down here. A bit a little hard to see. There's a uh, zipper compartment up here, so if you want to store anything additionally. So altogether, there is quite a few compartments. Yeah, I don't think I'm really explaining this all too well, but yeah. So two on the uh, the outside, and uh, basically compartments all the way down as far as the eye can see, as far how far this goes. So nice little nice little thing. Easy. These tabs are uh, really easy to pull for the zippers, and they're more or less glove friendly. You shouldn't have any problems getting access to anything. Now up here in the front, you have. A small little compartment for storing things. I have chem lights and hand sanitizer in here actually. And some scissors. So all your auxiliary equipment and stuff, things you might need in immediate access can all be placed here. It's got a nice amounts of molly. As you can see there's a uh, well, four lines of molly here, but only about three of them are accessible, which is good because that's about the size of a first aid kit. Now riding a scooter in Okinawa, it's not uncommon to have uh, well cars attempt to murder you in one way of putting it. But also there's the event that you might run to a pedestrian or something and having a first aid kit on you on a scooter while driving, always a good idea. If nothing else, you can probably help save someone else's life, which considering the amount of overturned taxis and issues is a good thing. Well, hopefully you won't need to, but yeah, as you can see, I have a old Marine Corps IFAC here. I had all my old stuff that they let me keep, so I just needed a new pouch and it fits nicely. So it's one option for mounting to the side. Now on the interesting part, before we get to the main compartment on the back, this whole thing comes with its own little compartment. And in here, which is a nice little reinforced padding plate here, you can put your hydration pouch. There's also a space in the front if you prefer your hydration pouch there. So you can keep your hydration pouch. There's a uh, opening right here that leads to the main compartment. You can run your hose through there if you so desire. Oh look, there's a little, uh, oh, there's little tabs in here too. Little uh, like old school AK magazine tabs in here. I'm assuming you can use for mounting stuff too. So yeah, interesting little options. Definitely lost thought with this bag. Up by the uh, <clears throat> emergency drag handle and everything, you have little sort of a uh, headphone pad things here, one on each side, velcroed in, so you can run your hose out through there. And of course, you've got the tabs on the shoulders, so you can run the hose through there, so you have access to it. The uh, straps are adjustable. There's a little chest strap on the front, and you have small bits of molly for attaching anything, such as a, maybe a small radio pouch or anything you might need. Single magazine pouch, something like that. Now in the main compartment, I actually have my, uh, my waterproofing gear in here, so that in case it rains, I don't have to go to work drenched. Actually, let's get that out of the side. Now, as you can see, in the main compartment, there's this, uh, little section here. You can put your camel back in there. And then basically can cinch it down. And yeah, then you have some of the tabs over here that were mentioned earlier for running the hose through. And underneath the glasses portion, oh look, there's a tab here. Oh, the tab is a little thingy. So yeah, you can actually mount the hydration pouch uh, top portion through there. Have that hold it in place. So yeah, options, pretty gnarly. It looks like this can be moved to the other side too if you have it in the back portion. So there's those options there. You got your cleaning instructions and everything here. This was actually uh, made in Vietnam, made by the commies. How unfortunate. So yeah, not made in America, unfortunately. Kind of makes me sad, but that's life. Now on the uh, back portion here, you have uh, two mesh bags sort of set up so you can keep gloves or anything in there, particularly anything you want to have breathable and possibly free from water. Now the last little thing I did not mention is up at the top, that was, well actually I guess I did sort of mention it when I pointed out that you could work around it, it's the felt filled glasses case. So if you want to keep shooting glasses or anything on you, it could go nicely in here. 
Mine's filled with breath mints because I'm just cool like that. So yeah, felt filled. So it'll keep your glasses uh, clean, free from any uh, sort of uh, markings or prevent any damage to it. It's sort of that microfiber cloth material to it. Yeah, it just sits right up there and nice and out of the way. Now the main thing I like is that all these compartments and stuff really uh, sit out of the way. So when you collapse the bag, they all sort of fit together like Lego pieces. There's uh, no problems or things trying to occupy the same space. Things that would cause telefragging in a sort of game scenario. So, yeah, just some uh, cool little stuff. I mean, the bag runs for $80, $90 or so. And yeah, so as far as a quick small little bag, I know uh, our guy on our team, Fang, actually had one. I thought his was particularly sexy, so lo and behold, I got one too. Now, the nice thing about it is that it is, as you can tell, compared to me, relatively small. Which means that it doesn't have a large cross section and it's more or less out of the way. Lightweight. Simple out of the way. All in all, a nice bag. Not a massive bag or anything. I have plenty of massive bags that are great for, well, massive hikes, but of course, a small little sort of like day pack or patrol pack or anything, this is definitely a nice addition. And I enjoy it, so, I don't know. I'd like to assume that this light is the reason I don't get hit by cars. But, yeah, so, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Nice little bag, fully adjustable. There's um, there's tabs here that look like you could attach a belt or something to it if you so desire. However, I do not have the belt, and if I carry enough weight to require that, I'll probably go with my bigger bag anyway. So, that's all I want to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I got this one off of Amazon, so I'll put a link down in the description below. And yeah, so take care everyone. Stay chivalrous, and I'll see you in the next review. Cheers!